What's going on Lego Maniacs? It's Tyler Lego Guy here. And yeah, welcome to part four of the building of Hoth Mock. Uh, yeah, honestly, it's really, really coming along. Uh, I'm still waiting on some pieces, but uh, yeah, we've made quite a bit of progress in the last, last couple weeks. Um, sorry again about not bringing it out earlier. Just been busy and mocks take a lot of time. But yeah, enough talk, let's get right into it. So here's a little update on the mock. As you can see, destruction has struck. Uh, it's become a party. So I gotta clean this all up and uh, start building on the trenches. Get white pieces here anyways. It's just a big mess, but that's what happens a lot of times with mocks and you get busy. So, I got it all cleaned up, uh, which is great. Start. Um, I'm also going to throw in an ATSD. Um, let me know if you guys like that idea or not. I think it's going to work pretty good. And I'm probably going to do a review on this guy because this is the best sized ATSD, uh, honestly, they've ever made. Um, it's much better than the 2001 version, but we'll do a comparison. Uh, one of these days I'll do a review. review. But, anyways, this is from the Battle of Endor uh, set, the Endor bunker set. Uh, if you get a chance to get it, great looking ATSD. And he actually doesn't look too bad in comparison to the ATAT. -AT. You can still tell that that's a lot bigger. Uh, but yeah, that's the update. I'm going to start building those uh, trenches and lead it into the Rebel base. So I made a bit more progress. Uh, as you can see, I'm starting to build this up with these pieces. I got 300 of these things over ordered off of a uh, BrickLink. So they're really coming in handy. Uh, yeah, building up into the cave, or out of the cave. Uh, but yeah, making some progress. Just thought I'd let you guys know what's going on. So, a little bit of an update. Uh, I've been continuing on with this uh, monotonous work. Uh, it's, it's okay, it's just very routine. But, I got this really cool scene, and this is kind of the thing I was gonna show you. Uh, back in earlier videos, I thought I'd have Vader land and he has a bunch of snow troopers following him into battle And this is the final resting place of the ATSD. So I think that looks really really good um, Let me know what you guys think uh, the Star Destroyer just an update I took it off just because I'm waiting on those clear pieces from Lego um, By the end of this video I should have them and I might even have the Star Destroyer laid on here But anyways, that's the update. Uh, I just think that looks fantastic um, and uh, yeah, I'll show you what's going to be going on here, uh, but yeah, that's what I got going on. Well guys, I made a ton more progress, uh, and I kind of went crazy with snow troopers. The boys are coming. Um, yeah, I actually got 31 of these guys. I bought a bunch of battle packs back in the day, uh, and uh, yeah, anyways, I don't know if I'm going to use all of them, but we'll see, but I'll show you the progress I made. Um, actually, I put this here uh, to show the snow troopers coming down which I think looks pretty cool um, but yeah let me know what you guys think and then right here I got a down snow uh, snow speeder and what I really like about this is Vader is landed and he is force choking this pilot he's done for uh, the one thing I'm wondering though oh, almost knocked down some Lego um, is uh, what do you guys think of the flames on this like with the snow speeder down, uh, I think it looks cool, but let me know what you guys think. I'll show you kind of how I did that to kind of create the, the idea that snow, um, it, it's crashed into snow. I just put the basically foundation of where the snow speeder goes. But uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, I'll be getting into the trenches later, but that's probably not going to be this in this video. What, what we're going to finish off on is uh, getting a bunch of clear pieces up here and finally sticking that Star Destroyer on. I should be getting that package shortly. But yeah, that's the progress. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions of what you think I should do or include. Um, I'll definitely take it into consideration. Uh, but yeah, that's this update. So, just a little bit of an update. Um, those clear pieces I'm waiting on for the Star Destroyer, they're all the way in um, the state still and I'm in Canada. So I think it's going to be a couple more weeks until I finally get them. So I'll probably start going on the trench. Uh, my hand's there just because I don't want anyone to see my address. Uh, but yeah, that's the update. We're going to get on the trenches. This is just super frustrating, but what are you going to do? So, a bit of an update. Um, since I won't be able to get that Star Destroyer, 
up. Um, we'll be doing the trench, like I said. So I kind of have it on a zigzag going on to here because I kind of want to build the trench all the way up into here. Well, that way it won't look so, um, won't look unnatural. That way it's not jutting, uh, going straight and then jutting all the way back here. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's the update. Uh, we'll see how it looks. So, made a little bit more progress. Um, I was a little skeptical about how this would look, but it's actually working pretty good. Uh, it's actually bringing the land up a little bit more too, making it more like a trench. And it's leading into uh, oh, the other trenches, into the back where everybody's everywhere. But uh, yeah, no, it's coming uh, little by little. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions about the trench or I should build it, uh, leave it in the comments. But yeah, that's about where I am right now. So, made some more progress. i get that out of there. Uh, yeah, so it, um, it's been building right along here. Uh, it's actually really tedious work, but whatever, it's, it's starting to come along. And then I'm actually gonna elevate this, um, put this on a higher, um, like make a taller trench, so kind of make a walkway into it, into our trench, we'll see, just to give it a little bit more variety, because it's kind of boring, it just going straight the entire um, time. But yeah, that's about where I'm at. Uh, we'll see where it goes. So folks, here are the trenches. Uh, honestly, I think this looks really, really, really good. Um, I was really skeptical, I didn't know how it was gonna turn out, but it's really coming. I haven't got a chance to get into the higher elevated trench area yet, but it's coming. And then I got the snow troopers coming. Uh, some of them you can see have been shot. And I added a couple more over here. And yeah, there's the AT-80. -AT. And the down snow speeder. I might actually have this continue into the trench like it's kind of wrecked from the snow speeder going down with rebels running around, but we'll see. And then you got Vader coming in with the ATST. I thought this was kind of cool. There's a little uh, sniper up on the mountain. Still have to do a bit more details that mountain, but we'll get there. Um, but yeah, that's about where I'm at. Um, I've actually used almost all the snow troopers that um, I have, but I, I think it looks good. I just don't want to make it look too cramped, but it is the end of the battle. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, it's uh, coming along pretty good. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Um, they're welcome and they, uh, they help for sure. But yeah, this, uh, this mock's actually really, really coming along. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. That's about all I got for you. Uh, if you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. But yeah, take care, and thanks again for watching. Catch you on the next one.